are we insane? I think we've been insane for a very long time and this is kind of like the peak of insanity. We are making something that we've never done before. We're gonna test and shoot a spaghetti stuffed meatball. I'm really nervous, first and foremost, because I've hyped this up so much for months that everyone is really looking forward to seeing the outcome, and I'm nervous about not being able to deliver at all. I'm worried that the meatball's not gonna hold together or hold its shape in the oven. I don't want it to like flatten out like a pancake meatball. Yeah, I think that's about all that could go wrong, but we shall see. So I figured I just bought a ton of meat. <laughs> we're gonna try and try and try until we're out of meat. I think the best way to start is to just take a standard meatball recipe and make the entire batch as one big meatball. Okay, so I'm doing a mix of sausage and ground beef. I'm gonna do two pounds total and see if that's enough. I'm gonna keep most of it the same. The only thing I'm gonna change is adding some more breadcrumbs because I feel like that might help it stick together a little bit more. Also, I'm gonna try stuffing the meatball with cheese and spaghetti. There's nothing wrong with a little extra cheese. That's kind of the way I try to live my life. Sometimes I like fall asleep and I just wake up with like foods in my head. And I think this was one of them. It better work. Okay, I think this is about ready. Oh my gosh, I'm really nervous. What's the worst thing that could happen? It explodes. <laughs> That wouldn't be the first time I've had something explode in the oven. So my thought is I'm going to line this bowl with a bunch of plastic wrap and kind of like line it with the meat and guide it into a ball. Okay. I'm gonna spray it with cooking spray so it doesn't stick. We'll get the meat in and I'm gonna push it up the sides. Oh my God. This is a little scarier than I thought it would be. Okay, this seems slightly sturdy. Whew, I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay, so I'm gonna put the cheese on the bottom because I feel like it's less likely to leak out if it's not at like the seam of where I'm closing this. And I'm just gonna be pretty generous with the mozzarella. Okay, so we're gonna get a little pile of spaghetti. Oh sh Oh God, okay. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm gonna see, cause I can open it back up if it's not enough or too much. <laughs> Come together. Okay, I put too much spaghetti and not enough meat. Or I don't think I spread my meat thinly enough. Let's try to get this together. It's gonna happen. It's gonna, you know, if the meatball doesn't work, we'll do a meat bowl. Okay, come on, come together, little guy. If you talk to your food and encourage it, it's more likely to do what you want. Pro tip. This is definitely the size I was going for. I'm almost there. This is actually coming together. Oh, sh okay, it's popping. Okay, come on out, here we go. Honestly, I feel decent about this. You guys, do you see this? Do you think this is big enough? I mean, go big or go home, right? right? <laughs> do you think I should wrap it in foil before I bake it? Or do you think I can bake it just like this? Just go I would for try it. that way. That's, that's <laughs> impressive. I'm into that. It's coming. It's, it's cooperating. It's like, that'll stay together. I feel like this shape is what I'm going for because I want people to be able to slice it <laughs> and get the spaghetti from the middle. We're just going to pop it in the oven. I don't know exactly what temperature you're supposed to do for a super-sized meatball, so I'm doing 375 and I'm just gonna keep checking on it. I feel like it'll take at least 40 minutes. I'm gonna treat it like a meatloaf, almost. Bake it like you were baking a meatloaf and then it'll be baked all the way through. I trust myself. I think I did an okay job. And so I'm gonna pop this in the oven. It's working. It's working? Yeah. Oh my God, knock on wood. Seriously, look at that. Okay, okay, moment of truth. I'm ready. Yes. I think it's ready. Let's see. Oh God, a little cheese started to leak out. Okay, it's okay. We'll cover it with sauce. Nobody has to know. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. 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 It's done. How do I move it onto a plate? Spatula. Let's get like three spatulas. Okay. 
Wait, I'm not secure in this. Wait. So we're gonna sauce it. I don't know how much to ladle on this. I just want it to look sexy, okay? Oh, it's sexy. Yep. <laughs> I was not expecting that to work. Do you wanna cut it too? <laughs> yeah, let's it's cut it. Thing. Oh God, I'm so nervous. Alexis, will you just slice it? Sure. I'm scared. How does it feel? It feels good. Okay. Oh my God, is there gonna be a cheese pull? If there's gonna be a cheese pull in this, I'm gonna lose my sh I swear. I, I mean, my mind. Yep. It's like a big bubble Oh my god. Shit. Bam. Oh. Oh. Okay, and you need to get this. You need to get on the other this. <laughs> oh my gosh. You did it. Perfect. <laughs> Hannah, it's amazing. <laughs> You've got to try it. Oh. Wow. Oh, it's hot. Look at that steam. That's a little grub. <laughs> Can I try? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't think this would taste good. I thought it just looked cool. Mm. It's good. Oh, it's really good. Oh, <laughs> so impressed. Start crying. Good job. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. It's like embarrassing how proud I am. Okay, time to make a video. Ready? I'm so scared. Okay. I'm so I'm so bad at bite shots. Okay. She did it! It was really good. Alright, that's a wrap. <laughs>